Welcome to Overboard, a reverse detective game where you have to get away with murder. This is my husband and I. See how happy we look? Never mind the fact that we are in dire financial straits after a string of poor investments. We're on our way to America. Or at least I am. But who can blame me? His life insurance policy pays out millions. It's the morning after and I've got to cover it up. Malcolm, darling, I had the strangest dream. Malcolm? Oh. He's gone! Really gone! Marvelous! <laughs> oh, a knock at the door. Good morning, Mr. and Mrs. Villainzy. But is everything alright? What should I say? Who's there? Come in, don't come in. Well, definitely don't tell him to come in. And don't come in is very suspicious, so who's there? Steward, ma'am, what do you want? Captain says we put into Liberty Island at 4 p.m. And breakfast is still being served, ma'am. But only until 9 o'clock. Damn it, Veronica, you've overslept. Uh, thank you. Keep it cool and collected. Very good, ma'am. All right, Veronica, be calm, act natural. Maybe no one saw anything. I should probably check for evidence, like the bathroom. I catch a glimpse of my reflection in the mirror as I slip into the bathroom and look quickly away. There's a bottle of tablets by the sink. Fix my face. One of my earrings is missing. One of my diamond earrings. Shit, shit, shit. Tell me I didn't lose my earring on deck last night. Oh, that's suspicious. All right, pocket the other one. I should probably go up to the deck then. What's the deal with the tablets? Sleeping tablets, strong ones. Ah, Veronica's little helpers. So wonder I woke up at all. Maybe I should pocket them. You never know if I'll need those for later. Then I actually, I should probably get to the deck, right? Find the earring before someone else does. Okay, so I can go around the boat, like to the upper deck. I can also go overboard in case I want to give up. Good to know. I can be at the upper deck at 8.47. Okay, where's that earring? I make my way to the upper deck, but not quickly enough. Ah, Mrs. Villainsy. It's Mr. Carstairs, the young Englishman. Damn fine day, what? Yeah, good morning, Mr. Carstairs. Taking the air? Uh, definitely don't tell him I'm looking for my earring or bring up my husband. Ah, oh, fancy a stroll long deck? Somewhere that's far away from where my earring is? Sounds splendid. Here, take my arm. I take his arm and lead him firmly away from where my earring lies, winking on the deck. Well now, what shall we talk about? Will there be another war? Mr. Carstairs? Has to be. That man in Germany. He can't be allowed to carry on. It just can't be allowed. I just don't know how long we have to wait before we do something. My husband rather likes that man? Oh, of course he does. Uh, will you fight? Me? Oh, goodness me, no. I wouldn't know which end of a gun was the loud one. Where's your husband this morning, Mrs. Villainsy? I haven't seen him. Keep it very cool. Well, that's a dashed nuisance. He's looking for my husband. I deposit Mr. Carstairs at the top of the deck and return to retrieve my earring. Well, that was a close one. I should probably actually go back to my room. I left there pretty quickly. I don't know if I actually dispose of all the evidence. I look up to see the bridge officer on duty looking at me. Oh, the bridge can see the upper deck. Well, I should do that too. He might have seen me last night, but how about I go to the cabin? This seems important. Oh, both seem important. One at a time. I fall into my chase exhausted. I did the bathroom. I could check out the bed now. I fell asleep on the chase last night. So no one slept in the bed. Oh, that is suspicious. I'll scrumple the sheet so the maid knows, or doesn't know, that no one slept here. There, that's better. I've rumpled up my bed. I'll get up. There's no time for this. What about the desk? There's a cast iron paperweight in the shape of a dolphin on the desk. What an ugly thing. God knows why I hate dolphins. Pick it up. This thing is horribly heavy. It's like they don't want anyone to steal it. But who would steal this horrible thing? Right, uh, yeah, that's a good point. Don't want to raise any more suspicion. I'll just put it down. What about the porthole? It's open. I could toss something overboard. Oh, like Malcolm's clothes. That might not be a bad idea. Spend a happy five minutes stuffing blazers, jackets, trousers out the porthole. The wind whips them away like little flags. And I think I'll hold on to the rest, but now I guess it's as if Malcolm was never here. Okay, I need to maybe carry on, get to the bridge. There's still time. Yeah, I'll make it up here. I can be there at 1022. Six hours to go. To reach the bridge, you climb a metal ladder from the upper deck. It's a terrible idea. 
The masterful Commander Anders is at the wheel. On a hook inside the bridge is a key with a bright red fob. The upper deck. You can see the rail clearly. Right now, Lady H is leaning over the stern rail. Okay, maybe Anders saw something. I need to know what he knows. Commander, Mrs. Villainsy, come in. The bridge isn't empty. There are a few duty officers about. And how are you faring this morning, Mrs. Villainsy? Well enough. Have you been up here before? <laughs> can I try the wheel? When all else fails, crash the boat. Think he'll let me? Sure thing. Ooh. We could head for Cuba, maybe. It's that way. I'll hold it and you hold my arms. Ooh, actually, I could flirt with them. That's a good idea. All right. <laughs> we Hold her steady. Just keep going. Develop trust. The shore is in sight, he yells. But look out for those rocks. What rocks? I've got my eyes closed. But my dear, so have I. <laughs> Splice the main brace. Hard support. Gentle now, gentle. There. Treat her kindly and she'll keep you steady. There. Dolphins off the port bow. Dolphins eat their own babies? I'm not gonna bring that up. Where? Off the port bow, dear. Port is that way. They've gone now. Stunning creatures. Live in families. Never a crossword. But maybe a Sudoku. Marvelous. Uh, why must I say bad things about dolphins? I could flirt, you know. Okay, I, uh, they give me the shutters. They're always laughing. Yes, how terrible. Well, if you say so. Here goes. Hard to starboard. Over she goes. Not all the way over, if you please. For a moment, everything seems pure and simple and true. For a moment. All right, that's enough now. But I'm getting so good at it. I'm glad you think so. Do you know I was on watch here last night? Oh, no. What did you see? Was a quiet night. Light breeze, no fog, relatively good visibility. Shit, shit, shit. Mr. Anders, my friend, I've got to turn on the charm. I feel I've known you a long time. We've driven many boats together. We're old souls, Miss Villainsy. That must be it. Are you trying to tell me something? You and your husband like to take the air at night. But did you know you're not the only ones who do that? Lady Armstrong also takes a stroll about that time. Oh, Lady Armstrong. So I have to find her. Was she alone? The deck was well attended last night, as I recall. A few key characters on our little stage. Now, Mrs. Villancy, I should perhaps return to my duties. Can I trust you, Anders? My advice, Mrs. Villancy? Look after yourself. That way, people will stick by you. Oh, no. What about that key? The one with the red tag? That's my pass key. Why? So you can go anywhere you like? Of course. I should get one of those. Naturally, we don't give them the passengers. Thank you for showing me the bridge, Mr. Anders. Perhaps you could show me more. Later? I would like that very much. Good day, Mrs. Villainsy. Well, I flirted with him a little. But I gotta find Mrs. Anderson. Throughout the boat. I guess I gotta go other cabins. The cabins right below the upper deck seem like a good idea. I can be there at 11.30. Maybe they saw something that I need to take care of. They belong to the Major and Miss Clarissa Turpentine. There's sobbing coming from a nearby cabin. Must be Clarissa. Let's see what's up. Listen in. I put my ear to the keyhole. Sobbing, sobbing. More sobbing. Ripping something up. She's in there all right then. Knock on the door. Clarissa, you're in there? Go away! Clarissa, let me in. You witch! I never want to see you again. I know what you did to him. I know. What? Oh no. Uh, I need to play dumb. Clarissa, have you seen Malcolm? Where is he? You don't know? Oh my God, Veronica, you really don't know? Yeah. Uh, what did you see, Clarissa? Please tell me. Go away. Did he hurt you? What? No. It was you? You hurt him? Go away? Please, you're driving me crazy. She collapses into floods of tears again, enough to spoil her bedsheets. Maybe she didn't see anything after all? Uh, that's not good. Knock on her door again. What do you want? Meet me on the upper deck so I could do her too. Okay, meet me there. Why? It's important. It's not suspicious, trust me. I hate you. Okay, she's gonna meet me on the upper deck. Maybe I could do something there. Maybe not. Maybe I could just wait and catch her outside. Yeah, that's a good idea. 20 minutes pass by. 
Clarissa's door opens. Catch her. Where are you going? Up on deck to talk to you. Why do you have to be so horrible? She goes back in and slams the door. Okay, she might stay inside now. I don't want her telling any of this to anybody. How about the major's door? I'll knock. Hello? No answer. Try the door? Locked. He's too careful to leave his door open. Well, okay, I'll leave. I haven't gone to the smoking room yet. So I could check that out. The smoking room is a stuffy place tucked into the back of the boat. Seated in a heavy chair is a man with an enormous walrus mustache. Carstairs is here too, quietly smoking. Good day to you, Mrs. Villainsy. He salutes. Been stuck aboard this tug for a week, but I don't believe we've had the pleasure. The name is Subedar Major, Major Sarbit Singh of the 14th Sikhs. Retired, obviously. At your service, Veronica Villainsy. Late cool. Oh, I know who you are. Chaps talk about their wives. Not very complimentary, I'm afraid. That's rather true, I'm afraid. Play it cool, charm it, then you have me at a disadvantage. Hmm. Ah, but perhaps that way you can lure me into overconfidence. Yeah, make conversation with you. I kind of want to take the subject off of Malcolm. Maybe how long were you in the army? Still am in the army, madam. It's a life's work. Old soldiers only fade away, if you recall. And you, are you fading yet? Charming. Around the edges, yes, a little. What's in America for you, Major? My old friend Pitts. We fought together, Egypt, 20 years ago. He's only got one eye. I'm afraid he's quite a monster. A cyclops? With all the strength of one, too. If you need a car flipped over, Pitts is the man you call for. You're not serious. I never joke, madam. Jokes are simply misinformation with a smile. What about you? What takes you across the ocean? My husband is looking for work. Yes, is looking for work, not was, is. This America is full of places to work. How very aspirational of him. I don't know if I could charm him that well. Kind of a cold conversation. Maybe I need to just stop talking to him. Very good then. Yes, ma'am. Have either of you spoken to Lady H this fine morning? The Major has heard a ru rumor from Lady Armstrong. So Lady H is Lady Armstrong. Uh, mm, what does she know? Uh, immediately discredit her. She's an old gossip. Yes, that's certainly true. But gossip or not, listen to this. Lady Armstrong called, told me this morning that she is quite certain, quite convinced in fact, that the boat is sinking. Phew. Her head must be spinning. Crazy lady. Ha. Huh. Yeah, perhaps that is it. But my advice, keep an eye on the horizon. Check that it is still horizontal. Okay, I gotta find Lady H. Well, these cabins belong to Lady H. Maybe I could try here. So try Lady H's door here. She has a cabin more or less to herself on the corridor, so no one can see her rolling back drunk to her room. Lady H? I think she's asleep. Knock again. No, thank you. Please, it's urgent. I'm a very old woman. I seriously doubt anything as urgent to you as it is to me. Now, please, go away. Oh, no. Maybe I could wait until she comes out? 15 minutes pass by. Nothing's happened. Okay, I gotta move on then. What can I even do? I have two hours. Or maybe I can go to the chapel? I'll try the chapel. I've got no other options. If anything else, it's far away from everybody. Maybe I can hide. It's tucked into the very bottom of the boat. I fall to my knees and bow my head. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom, er, not very religious, are we? Something, something heaven? Yeah, you're going to hell. That's what you've got? It's a schoolgirl girl stuff. What do you want? Oh no, I'm gonna be smitten by God. Well, maybe he'll just forgive me. I have sinned. I'm fully aware of what you've done, young lady. Obviously. What I'm not sure about, is what the living Christ do you think I can do about it? Which god are you? Just stop and think about that question for a moment. <laughs> Go take a hike, I'm tired of you. The alms bowl? It's intended for donations. The money goes to an orphanage for children of lost sailors. It's empty. Get your nose out of there. I hurry out of the chapel. Anders appears from around a the corner. There you are. We're needed in the restaurant now. Walk me there? Certainly, ma'am. Let me take your arm. Uh-oh. In the restaurant, Lady H, Carstairs, and the Major are soon gathered. Clarissa Turpentine is standing apart, still sniffling. Anders walks me in and steps to one side. Thank you all for coming. 
Oh no. I apologize for gathering here. It is most unusual, but I believe something unusual has indeed occurred. This is Villainty. Malcolm Villainty isn't with you. I knew it. He's missing since last night. I'm worried sick. He's gone, Veronica. He left you the only way he could. I saw him fall into the sea. Last night, he fell past my window as I looked out. No! This is the first time I'm finding out about it and it's so sad. No! Oh, heavens no! Please, Miss Turpentine. You say you saw him falling past your window? He reached out to me like a ghost. That's in very poor taste, actually. You know, of course one doesn't like to gossip. But Malcolm Villainsy was on the upper deck last night and he wasn't alone. Clarissa was with him? It must have been Clarissa, taking a moonlit stroll with my husband, even though she said she was in her cabin. No, I was in my cabin waiting. Malcolm was going to visit me. I gave him my key. You gave a married man your cabin key? You heard me. But he never came because he threw himself overboard. Or maybe you two met on deck, or you think he killed himself. I mean, if someone saw my husband on deck with someone, there's got to be someone there that isn't me. So maybe you two met on deck and you threw him into the sea? No, I wouldn't never have hurt Malcolm unless he dumped you. Ooh, that's good established motive for someone else because you were some holiday fling to him and nothing more. And you couldn't stand that. No, you know, you mustn't believe her. Think hard now. Was it Miss Turpentine you saw on deck last night, Lady Armstrong? It could well have been Clarissa that I saw. And this is terribly ghoulish, but I heard Mr. Villainsy going overboard. I heard the splash. Didn't realize what it was then, but now, well. This is awful. This is awful. Enough theatrics, Clarissa. It was you. Admit what you did. I rather agree, dear. Ladies, please. The fact is, Mr. Villainsy is missing. The evidence we have is all circumstantial. Nothing to justify a firing squad, as my old field marshal used to say. Maybe Clarissa was on death with Malcolm. The poor girl was in love with him, yes. She invited him to her cabin, but he never came. An affair or infantile infatuation. It does not follow that she killed him. It's my belief that Malcolm Villainsy committed suicide by drowning. It's good, they're debating about two things that aren't true. I might be in the clear. Do you really think? What? You can't believe this. Swear it? She was up there with him? He pushed him into the sea rather than let me take him? There, I said it. I think I gotta go back to the ac accusation. Malcolm used you, Clarissa. One last fling before the end. Just give up, Veronica. It's too late for you. This is Villainsy? Maybe I should have st stayed true? It was her, she did it? That's a lie. There's certainly little, little evidence against you, miss. Stop. Aren't you forgetting something? I don't think so, no. Not you, Major. Him. Me, Lady Armstrong? That's right, he saw, but I did flirt with him? Anders, what did you see? So maybe he'll come to my aid. That's right, Commander. You were up on the bridge last night. With your binoculars. You must have seen exactly what happened. Oh no, is this why he was so cold to me? Despite my flirting? Was Miss Turpentine on deck last night? Well, Major, I was on the bridge, it's true. But we had just sailed through a storm. I was concentrating on the boat. Miss Turpentine may have been on deck, but I just don't know. He's covering for me. I didn't see. I wasn't on deck. I was in my cabin. I told you I saw him fall, my dear Miss Turpentine. There simply isn't enough evidence to link you to Mr. Villainsy's disappearance. Nothing. Therefore, all that remains is this. Suicide. My sympathies for your loss, Mrs. Villainsy. Allow me to walk you to your cabin, Mrs. Villainsy. He could have doomed me right there if I had not flirted with her. I'm not gonna change names, that's sus. That's it, it's way too sus. Thank you, Commander. Please tell me I got away with it. My pams are so sweaty. This way, please. Or at the hotel bar. You got out of it. I didn't think you'd get out of it. Oh my god, I got away with it. I feel like this is meant to be replayed so you could learn more about it and maybe get away in different ways. At least we hooked up with the captain. Let me know if you want to see more. Find out what else this game has to offer. Thank you all for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. See you in the next video. Have a wonderful day and peace.